nephritis be cured and is a kidney transplant inevitable now the short answer to this would be no but i would like to explain in a little more detail now lupus we have not advanced to such an extent that lupus and cure can be mentioned in the same breath however advances are significant in that the disease can be controlled and completely made quiet whereby all the strong immunosuppressants, the steroids can be stopped and the patient can be managed and maintained on very minimal medications, which allows them to have a good quality of life. So lupus nephritis can be well controlled rather than cured. What we call it is going into a period of long-term remission. Now, the only way that that can be done is when it is picked up early, when it is hit hard and when it is well controlled because the inflammation in the kidneys is what ultimately leads to damage. Now, the inflammation is reversible, but the damage is not. So once a damage happens, then is that is when you need a kidney transplant. So all our efforts when we see patients is to control the inflammation as quickly and as aggressively as possible. So the crux of the issue is always early diagnosis. Early diagnosis of lupus nephritis, good compliance with medications, better the outcomes. And no, a kidney transplant is not at all inevitable. In fact, most of our patients lead completely normal life with good kidney functions for a very long period to come. Kidney transplant occurs in a minority of cases where for various reasons, they are not able to take the medications properly or the diagnosis was delayed, uh, the initial treatment was not aggressive. So these are the times when damage occurs and then you require a transplant. What she writes is, the real challenge comes at my workplace, the stress and struggle to educate people on what it is like to live with lupus. I have faced many people, including my family members, who doubt the veracity of my illness, believing it is all in my head. This is extremely painful and frustrating, causing anger and resentment. Thankfully, I have a boss who understands what autoimmune diseases are like and what they can do to someone. So I'm provided with flexibility at work. This arrangement has helped me a lot in terms of managing my professional life with lupus. So this is from a real patient who has actually struggled with the disease and who is working successfully. So it is definitely possible. I'd like to, um, I extracted a few more lines, which I thought were quite moving. And she writes to say, on the outside, most of us look happy and healthy, but on the inside, we are fighting for our lives. I may have lupus, but lupus does not have me. So dear friends, I know it's a long journey. I know it's very hard and difficult at times, but please believe that we are there with you to support you on this long journey with you and always stay strong. Thank you.